just as predicted, Tony Ken is making a fool of himself yet again. If you watched the video earlier, 10 things that will make AEW succeed in 2024. Tony Khan will make a fool of himself. And here he is, no more than two hours later, making a fool of himself. And actually, when he posted these tweets, it was about an hour and a half later. 90 minutes. 90 minutes is all I've got. And yeah, we are talking about Hook. Getting a title shot. I have no idea who Hook's getting a title shot against, but that is not a re that's not relevant because Tony Khan has called out Jinder Mahal in the booking over on the red brand, the Down RB, and he says, a double standard. He says, at Hook, a 28-1 career record on winning streak calls out the champ. A logical challenge sparks online outrage. Jinder has literally lost every single match he's in for the past year, immediately gets title shot. Where is the rage? Hashtag AW Dynamite tomorrow on TBS. Sad little man syndrome. The guy is a fucking pansy. Make no mistake about it, right? Everybody, see anybody that's commented in our feeds and I've seen on Dynamite B on Instagram or Twitter. I'm not saying, like... 100% are bashing gender, but not, like, he's making out that everyone's pretending gender Mahal and Seth Rollins is brilliant. You know, it's honestly sad that this guy has to just, you know, almost, because people are having a go at him, booking Hook in a title match, he has to have a go at gender. Well, let's not care, but Jinder Mahal's a million times better than Hook. I don't care if Hook is the son of Taz, because he, he's, he's no good. You know, he looks like a goof, he comes out, with his wee taped wrists and his hair, and he, he looks, he, he's not, he, he does not wear near have the aura of Taz. See when Taz came out with the toil room, man, spray tanned fucking orange, business was about to pick up. Here though, he's completely spat the dummy because Jinder Mahal's getting a title shot on next week's Raw. So what? So what if Jinder Mahal's getting a title shot on next week's Raw? Yeah, you know what? Jinder Mahal is a jobber. He has lost every single match in for the past year, but there, there's rage everywhere. <laughs> There is rage everywhere. You know, the only thing you could say is, is this perfect Tony Khan trolling from a sense of, oh, well, you know, he's saying it. Because look at the end, he's saying hashtag AW Dynamite tomorrow on TBS. People will tune in. People will tune in to the program. No, he's not. It's sad bastard Tony Khan. A double standard. You know, I didn't even, like, where is the rage? I didn't even know people were calling it Hook. I actually knew people were calling it Mahal. Now, you could just argue that his reach is greater than AW's, but... They actually call this out and, you know, he's getting bashed in the comments, rightfully so. You know, some guy said, um, a double standard. You call it Fence's sex pest pass when he was removed from any creative control and day-to-day -day work. You protect the sex pest with an NDA because you need him to try and get your company off the ground. Where well, we picture a CM Punk, uh, like, smug, almost smug, shocked expression in here. We've kind of backed Jericho in this channel, but you, you know what? Tony Khan's a goofball. You've seen him... Like, saying, oh, we will not speak on that matter here. He's wearing the big afro, the wig. He's wearing the, the funky sunglasses. Well, Jericho, you know, is getting accused of all these crimes of inhumanity. And it's, the guy is just... I mean, imagine Fitz McMahon dressed up like that. I mean, come on. At least McMahon would have made it half work. Um, everyone's bashing him, um, saying, worry about your women's division. Tony Khan is getting hit from all angles. But he's not done, because the USA Network... Tweet it, what, uh, tweet it, sorry, what was the cage match rating? Um, and uh, I, I, I don't know if that is a reference. Yeah, it is a reference to Tony Khan um, because he must have been, aye, because it is, because everyone, Billy Ray's even in the comments saying huge pop, so apparently talking about what was the cage match rating is a dig at Tony Khan. He must have referenced that in the past, right? So obviously we're going to get... Seth Rollins is Jinder Mahal next week, and then he says, a moral victory for USA is one win more than their world title challenger Jinder Mahal has in the past 364 days, because it's literally a full year since he won a match. You really put AEW in our place getting Jinder Mahal in a big match on your TV show. Do it more often. You're a fucking goofball, Tony Khan. John Cena hasn't won a singles match in Dyer V in seven years. What? Does that, does that does that make John Cena fucking shite? I mean, the guy's pretending that wins actually matter in wrestling. They used to, right? When people were built. But see, today, man, no. See Hook being 28 and 1. He could be 1 and 28. It wouldn't change the fact the guy's pish. You know, AEW can whip out the records at the bottom of the screen, right? And be like, oh... Big John Silver, 100, 2, 
four losses. It doesn't it doesn't change the fact the show is fucking shit. No one's gonna tune in to Dynamite or Rampage or Coalition because Tony Khan has said about Hook being 28 and 1. I mean, who's scrolling through Twitter, right? You haven't watched wrestling in 20 years and you, you see, hold on a minute. There's a guy in AEW 28 to 1. He's won 28 matches. He's like, I'm going to tune in. No, you see if you had a fucking picture of a guy that looked like a star like John Cena, they're going to tune in. They're not going to go, hold on, why, why would I tune in to Monday Night Raw? Because Cena, Cena hasn't won a singles match in seven years. Fuck off. Tony Khan needs to go. I mean, when was the last time The Rock won a match? It was WrestleMania 32. That's what, eight years ago? What, did The Rock not just get 187 fucking million views on Monday across like 24 hours? Tony Khan needs to wind his neck in. He's talking absolute pish, as he always does, trying to pretend that Hook's wins and losses matter, and that's why people are going to tune in, and Jinder Mahal's not going to get any ratings. Fuck off. Jinder Mahal, you know, I'm not, I'm not defending Jinder Mahal. I mean, the guy is pretty pish, but it doesn't change the fact he's better than pretty much 99% of the AEW roster, but Tony Khan, he can go fuck himself, right? I hope this meltdown continues for him, because I'll be there. I'll be there to bash him. He's a fucking goof.